and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to be making my Freedom Bars and I have made this soap style before. I love it. I love doing it a little bit different each year on top. I, you know, today I'm not sure what I want to do on top of today's soap, but the inside is the same each time I make it and that is it's a two-day process. On day one I need to pour red and white stripe layers and then the next day I cut it on an angle and we do a blue in the pot swirl so it's red, white, and blue in there. I wanna have this soap ready for the 4th of July and so I gotta get moving on it. And so for the fragrance, let's talk about that. I'm gonna do apples and oak because it's wonderful. The apples do have a little bit of a sweetness to it, but the oak kind of makes it earthy. I think it's a great unisex scent. I have not soaked with this before, but the reviews were really good on it, said it didn't cause any issues, acceleration, rising, separation, none of that, and or discoloration, which is a plus, because I need my colors to be very vibrant in this soap. So that's the fragrance. So for day one, we're gonna get the red and white stripes. So that'll be titanium dioxide and trial by fire. This is a beautiful red color. I love it. So red and white on the first day. And then the next day we're going to do in the pot squirrel with white and blue. And I'll be using gorgeous blue mica from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And it is indeed gorgeous. It's just a real pretty blue and it makes the red and white pop. The color combo is gorgeous. And then on top, I might do a little bit of um, piping, maybe some stars or I haven't decided yet. I'm really thinking about what I want to do on the top of this. Also, I'm not going to be using my slab mold to make the soap because I need to cut each of the um, red and white stripe soap loaves at an angle and you'll see when we get there, I need to use individual soap molds to do this. So I'll be using my Essential Depot individual regular standard size soap molds um, and we'll talk about that when we pull those out. But right now I've got to get everything ready and uh, for day one of our red and white stripes and let's come back and make some Freedom Bars. We are back for day one of Freedom Bar Making, and I went ahead and did a little prep work here because this is gonna be a longer video because it's a two-day process, yada, yada. So what I have going on here is, these are all of my oils that I mixed. Here's my big bucket. I had them all mixed in there, and I blended my kale and clay. This is an oat-free soap today because I want that white to be really bright. So. I mixed my kale and clay and the fragrance in all of my oils and I split it up into six equal batches. So this is one sixth of all my oils here. I did the same with the lye aloe vera solution. I mixed it in one pot, the water, the lye, the silk, the sodium lactate, the sugar, all of it, and then I split it into six equal parts. So I will blend each layer as we go, so that way I don't have to worry about the last layer getting too thick and not pouring smoothly. This is how I like to do layers. I do it in bite-sized pieces. It's just easy for me to manage, and I find it to be a lower stress soaping. <laughs> and the fragrance is already in here if I didn't say that already. So I've got my trial by fire, I've got my TD. We're gonna go red, white, red, white as we pour each layer up. And um, I've got my Essential Depot molds here. These are just wonderful, so sturdy workhorse molds. I've had these for, gosh, a decade or more. They're a little bit pricey, but so worth it. They'll last you forever. And they are stand. this is a standard soap bar size, which we're doing. So I've got three of those off to the side for today, the red and white. So without further ado, let's get into making each layer. I'll fast forward through it because, you know, it's, it, it is what it is. So anyway, let's get to it. Let's get making soap.
We're back the next day and I have to unmold these loaves and cut them on the diagonal. And uh, let me just talk about the fragrance real quick. Number one, it smells great. I love the scent of this. Uh, number two, <laughs> it moved very slowly. I literally had to wait, like do all the dishes and do some organizing and computer work in between each layer. Um, so this would be a fantastic fragrance if you had a really intricate soap design in mind. Perfect. The downside of that is you can see I may have a little marbling on my layers. So even though I would come and test the layers, each of them, and tip this and it was steady, it was still a little filmy on top. So my layers may have a little marbling in there. It's okay. I think the whole concept is going to come through. So let's get these out of the mold and get them cut so we can move on to our blue swirly side of this. So these Essential Depot molds, they unmold like a dream. You just take the silicone portion out of the basket and this is stainless steel super sturdy and then the silicone is very thick it doesn't turn inside out but it's stiff enough where you can uh, break the seal on the bottom of the loaf and it just slides right out there we go yeah well we shall see when we get in there how these layers came out but overall let's get to it all right and now the goal is to take my cake leveler which you can find these in the baking section on amazon i'll leave a link down below it's just a nice taut wire in between two you know supports here it's called a cake leveler and i'm going to go from corner to corner and cut down this entire loaf on the diagonal And the key is to just go slow. We have it. Wine lines are a little bit wiggly. Some of that is the wire going bouncy. So now I will show you how to put these in the molds. All right, and now let me see. I want to make sure my stripes are going the right way, like that. And let's see if this will fit right down in. So these go right down in here on the diagonal in the mold. So I have to do that with each of these layers and then we'll come back in with our blue swirly soap to top this off. There we go. So I've got to do that with the rest of these. All right, we're back and it's time to make the blue layer of soap. Um, I did make my lye solution yesterday. Uh, it's aloe vera lye solution with tussed silk, cane sugar, and sodium lactate. Um, and it does have a little lye lint because it sat overnight. And so I'm just going to run it through the strainer here. And the fragrance is already in here as well as um, kale and clay is already mixed in the oils. We're gonna do it in the pot swirl for our blue portion.
these poured beautifully, but they're a little shallower than I wanted. So I whipped up a quick small batch of soap frosting here that I'm going to make. Um, and I have titanium dioxide in the lye water. And so these will be white. And when I do it in the piping bag, I'll probably do a little red stripe. And I'm using a Wilton 1M star tip. And we'll just do some star dollops to kind of raise the height. I wanted these uh, soaps to be a little beefier. So let's get to making some soap frosting. It's the next day and uh, I did not cover these after I finished because I have six loaves here and I didn't have a tray big enough. Anyway, they just sat out at room temperature in my basement uncovered and uh, they're fine. I don't have a lot of soda ash or anything like that. And I wanted to talk about the frosting that I made to go on here, this little extra. I will leave the full recipe down below in the description box. It's just a great little recipe. It's a two pound batch. I whipped it up real quick and I love it. I think it just really added a little something to these loaves and I really wanted these to be special. So now we've got to get them out of the mold and see how those red and white stripes came and if you know I had a lot of waves or breakthrough. I think they're going to be pretty either way. So let's get to it and see what we've got going on the inside. All right, we're back with the lovely Olga. And I want to talk about, um, I've had a little bit of seepage on the sides here, which is no big deal. I've got my little beveling machine. <laughs> this is very inexpensive. I got it on Amazon and uh, I will show you how I use this to clean up any little messy edges that aren't really crisp. So all that being said, let's get our loaf in the cutter here and see what we've got going. Looks like I'm going to have a little end piece for samples. That'll be great. So here's our sample. Oh my word. Color pop. I am loving. Oh, and I mean, they're not super straight, but I, that's pretty straight. And look at that swirl. So happy. So let's talk about this color on the outside it's going to brighten up any of this yellowing as it oxidizes the TD and um, the fragrance oil is not discoloring. So we're going to all the little modely colors are going to sharpen up as this sits on the curing rack. I'm just tickled with these. Isn't that fun? I love this design every time I do it. In fact, so I've been thinking about this same exact design. Of course, these are for the 4th of July, so I had to go with red, white, and blue, but wouldn't this be beautiful with black and white stripes and like a fuchsia swirl or something like that? I'm definitely gonna take this design idea and do some different color schemes with it because I think it is so fun. Makes me super happy. 
This fragrance smells amazing. So I'm happy with everything. It behaved well. The soaps came out adorable. And even though I have a little bit of wave there, I'm super happy. All right, let's get on to our next loaf here. And actually, the idea of a different color scheme got me thinking. And I think I'm going to ask you all if you have a color combo that you think would look good in this design, write it down, leave me a comment down below. And I'm gonna look at all those and I'm gonna choose a viewer's color combo. That's what I wanna do, cause you know, why not? So just think of this design idea and what colors would you like to see? This'll be really fun, <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let me, this one has a little bit of a, of a leak through of the blue swirl there. Let me show you. I'm going to just scoot this off to the side and bring my little um, planer. This is called a soap planer, and it does have grooves for beveling. You can use it. This blade is very sharp. The last time I did a video and I used one of these, I had several people comment that they have cut themselves on here. So please be careful if you're going to use one of these. You could even get, um, you know, butchers have those uh, cut proof gloves that you can, you know, spare your hands with knives and stuff. You could use a glove like that too. But um, I'm going to go ahead and run this through and I'm holding it up high so I'm not down close to the blade. But here is the little leak through there and we're just going to run it across. Actually, let me go this way. Run it across the beveler and it's perfect now. So these are very handy. Just be cautious with that, um, with that blade on there because it's nothing to mess around with. But look how perfect that came out. All right, let me get back to the loaf here. There we go. <laughs> also with the color combination, let me know if you have, think of a scent profile that you'd like to go with your color suggestions. So if you have, you know, just let me know, get creative. I'm gonna let you all choose the next one I do in this design. That'll be really fun. All right, let's get into our next loaf here. Oh, it smells good down here. I'll tell you what, smells good. So I am gonna fast forward through the rest of the cutting of these and then I'm gonna let these sit because this was a slow moving fragrance. Um, th these are a little soft, so I'm gonna let these set overnight before I come in and stamp and they're too short. I'm gonna be stamping across the front on these, which always looks pretty when I do that. So that'll be tomorrow and gotta get the rest of these all cut up into bars and let them sit overnight. And I just thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the today's video and I hope you leave a suggestion on color schemes and fragrances for another batch with this design. This is gonna be fun to see. Oh, look at that swirl. So all that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.